let's talk about electronegativity. Okay, uh, I'm going to be, when I write electronegativity, I'm going to use quite often short form EN, electronegativity, okay? So what trend did you notice in electronegativity values? Did anybody have a zero, a zero value? Who's the lowest? <coughs> Mm -hmm. uh, all noble gases have zero values. All noble gases. So all noble gases have a value of zero. Who has the next lowest value? Yeah, group one, alkali metals. Did you notice which group had the highest values? The yeah, group 17. The halogens have the highest value. So, smaller you are, the more control you have over other, other atoms' electrons. It is very important when we're talking about bonding, because it's going to determine what type of bonds you make, and it's going to determine a lot of uh, reactivities and you're going to be using it in the next unit to actually identify if a single, re single displacement reaction actually will go. If I mix this metal in this solution, will I have a reaction? Or will it just sit there and stay? And you'll be able to predict based on electronegativity values. The ionization energy is the energy required to remove an electron. had the lowest ionization energy. So just like I write EN for electronegativity, I'm going to write IE for ionization energy. So alkali metals have the lowest. What else did you notice? Who had the highest? Angela? Yeah.
noble gases have the highest ionization energy. What happened to the ionization energy as you moved left to right across the periodic table? Did it go down or did it go up? Thank you. It goes up. It goes up. So it goes up, left to right, across a period. And what happens as you go down? What happens as you go down a group? So find the alkaline metals. What happens to the ionization energies as you go from lithium to sodium to potassium? Do they go up or do they go down? So those are your peaks, right, Brandon? Yeah. Ionization energy goes down as you move down a group. Alkali metals have the lowest ionization energy, and the ionization energy goes down as you move down a group. So the bigger you are, the easier it is to pull off an electron, the less energy you need. So if my electron is over here, it can get pulled off easily. But if I've got it like this, good luck getting that electron or Kleenex box away from me, right? So the closer you hold your electrons, your valence electrons to you, the harder it is to remove them, the more energy you need. So the smaller the atom, the harder it is to remove an electron. So this, to me, is probably the most boring part of the course. But it's kind of neat how this affects the organization. Okay. When electrons are lost or gained. So I'm going to look at the trends for both. A positive ion and a negative ion. So we'll do the positive first. When you lose electrons, you get smaller. There's less electron-electron repulsion in that outer valent shell cloud. And the more electrons you lose, the smaller you get. So a three plus ion loses three electrons, that's gonna be smaller than something has lost only one because there's such a big difference in the electron-electron repulsion. So the more electrons you lose,
the smaller you get. Anions gain electrons, and your size increases. So the oxygen atom is smaller than the oxygen ion. So if you gain electrons, size increases. And this is because there's greater electron electron repulsion in the valence electrons. So that means they're pushing further out away from each other. It's like not being sexist here. It's like guys standing in a circle talking. If another guy joins the group, the guys spread out to let them in. Girls don't care if they're physically touching each other as much. As much the boys. So, the, yeah, it's personal space, right? The more electrons you gain, the bigger you are. Electron affinity. There was not a graph for this. There was not a graph for this. This is basically the opposite of ionization energy. This is the energy required to gain an electron. So basically, non-metals have a high electron affinity. It's not really required. It's not necessarily required. Sometimes it's released. I should really say associated. Change required to associated. Energy associated with gaining an electron. So nonmetals have high electron affinity. They really want to gain an electron. 